Are we there yet? We are making the turn now. It's the last house on the left, in case you forgot. It is the only house for miles, Dad. Do you guys need the car today? I was thinking I could meet up with Paige. Have fun. I don't think we've met. I'm Paige. This is Mary. Hey. What do you feel like doing tonight? I think Justin here could be kind of cute. <laughs> when the family finally gets to their summer home, um, Mary decides that she wants to meet up with her, you know, childhood friend, Paige, who lives in the town, and they're going to get together, and it seems innocent enough. They're just going to meet up. Then they happen to meet Justin, who um, they think is just, you know, nice, sweet guy, and they're going to go back to his motel room and uh, smoke some pot. <laughs> and and um, uh, as they're having their fun, the three bad guys walk in who are on the run from the police, and it all just goes downhill from there because uh, Krug's uh, pictures on the front page of the newspaper. He's wanted, and we've spotted him, and so he's not going to let us go. Evening. You knew not to bring anybody back here. <laughs> we made the front page. That's what's going on. This is none of our business. I'm sorry, ladies. Oh my God. We just can't risk it. These are two lovely girls, Justin. Bring her back! You got her. Now what? I saw a house back there. It's about our car trouble. We're actually pretty lucky today, seeing your house. Krug is kind of a spree killer. Uh, he's not, he doesn't seem concerned with getting caught. They don't seem concerned with covering their tracks or the trail. There's DNA all over the place. Uh, and his, his band seems to be on that same sort of death spiral with him. And it's one of those weird sort of group, group mentality insanity moments that sometimes happen in history. They're just, uh, it's like they're on fire and they're doing as much damage as they can before they, they get snuffed out. There's only one problem. Our daughter won't have the car back till tomorrow morning. You know, you should probably just sleep here tonight. We have a guest house. Did you hear that? Mary! She's been shot. Can you tell us who did this to you? What are we going to do? We don't have a car. The phones are dead and they're still here. Which means we're going to be ready to do anything. That reminds me of a warm, safe place where I see shine the heart and pray for the thunder and the rain. I can't move. You're paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't have any rope or duct tape. Ah, ah, ah. 